Hi there, it's Nicole McGuirk with a Copic coloring tutorial today on how to color in furry animals using the feathering technique. I've already pre-stamped this cute kitty from Stampa V on a three inch punched circle. And before I color his fur, I'm just coloring in the insides of his ears and his cheeks with R20, it's a blush color. Then I'm going to start with, I believe it is W1, and these are just warm grays. You can choose whatever you like, but I am not fully coloring it in. I'm starting like from the outside and pulling my Copic marker in with little strokes. So I'm just kind of starting at the outside of his little body and working my way in with short feathered strokes. And I didn't start with my lightest color that I'm using. I started with the next to the lightest color. I'm just to kind of get him colored in where you can see it. The W00 is pretty light colored. Added a little pink to his nose as well. Next, I'm going in with W3, which is warm gray number three. And you can see it's just a tad bit darker than the color I used before. Again, going back and I'm starting at the outside and pulling my marker in with just short feathered strokes. It doesn't look very nice or very pretty yet, but you can see him kind of coming to life. This is just gives a more realistic and fur look than coloring it in smoothly with your marker and blending like you do with a lot of Copic coloring. This is just another way to do it. I'm adding yet another layer of dark or warm gray. This is warm gray number five. And you can see it really, even though the, it's, the image is kind of messy, I would say right now, you can kind of see that kitten coming to life and the fur and the, how, how it looks almost soft to touch. Just going back in where I think he might be the darkest. Then I'm going to go back with my lightest, which is the warm gray zero zero. And I did kind of smooth over his cheeks and I'm kind of going back over all of those lines with feathering strokes. Just kind of to help blend those all in together. And this does take a little bit of time because you kind of, you're not, like I said, you're not coloring it over over the design smoothly with your marker. You're just using these little tiny strokes to pull the color onto your design. Once I kind of have him all filled in, again, gonna go back with a bit darker color using my warm gray three, my warm gray five, adding a little bit darker shadows and places where he might be a little bit darker and adding another layer. And you can do this as many times as you want. The Copic markers won't bleed through the paper, or won't tear your paper or anything like that. But in fact, I think the more coloring you do here, the better. Gets you more realistic results. Going back with a lighter color, blend that in a little bit. Go back around his eyes with my lightest or my next to lightest, the warm gray number one, and blending until I have him how I want him to look. And you can see he looks like a nice soft little kitty. Next I'm going to go ahead and color in the telephone. And I'm, I want the telephone to be red. Um, so I'm starting with R22, which is a light prawn color, and it's kind of a coralish color. You can see there's really not it's not very reddish, I guess I would say, in color, but it gives you really great shading results when you start with a lighter color like this, I think. I'm gonna add just a little warm grays to parts of my phone there real quick. Next, I'm gonna go with my next darkest color, which is R24, and this is Prawn. And it's, again, more of a coralish, peachish color, but I these are the colors that I tend to use most often when wanting to get a really nice rich red color. Going back with R29 now, which is a nice red, 
adding yet another layer. And you can see the telephone is starting to look more red in color. Using R39, which is garnet, which is a very deep red, very rich red, to add some shading, which it gives the gives the image a lot more dimension. I'm going to blend that with my R22 and it needs just a little bit more. Going back with my R29 and even darker if you really want to add some rich shadowing. I'm using RV99 which is a red violet which is very dark but you can see it gives you really awesome shading results. Next, I'm just taking a black glitter Spica. This is a Copic pen or marker, and it's a glitter pen, and I'm just coloring in that telephone cord with it. Kind of gives it a fun little glitter effect colored in the little dials there on the phone. And you could, like, I saw something I needed to fix there, so I'm adding just a little bit more shading and coloring or shading there to the bottom of the phone. And there is my image all colored in. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Oh, I'm going to add a couple little white spots to his eyes, sorry. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. For more information on this card plus a list of products I used, please visit www.nicolemcgork.typepad.com on April 1st, 2011. Thanks for watching.